Hello, everyone. Hi, super conscious leaders. Welcome to our March full moon ritual. Hello, hello, hello. Hope you are all doing well. Hi, welcome to our full moon ritual here in super conscious leaders. Today is the Full moon in Libra, in Tropic Astrology, and in Vedic, we are in the Virgo full moon. So for those of you who are maybe a little bit new to the group here in Superconscious Leaders, we talk about both Vedic and Tropic Astrology. Tropic Astrology is based off the equinox, so based off of the spring equinox, and then that's the first day of Aries. In Vedic astrology, they base it off of the astronomy. So where are the planets actually at? How close are they? So if you were to pull out your Google sky maps, you could look and see that the um, moon is actually closer to Virgo right now than she is to Libra. But the best way that I can describe that really is that like if you're looking at the right now energies, then the Virgo energies are going to be coming in. So like spring cleaning, the organization, the remembering of yourself as the one who immaculately conceives your own life, pulling your own energies in, having that divine union within. And then if you're looking towards the future, then it's that balancing act, right? Like really coming into the balance of the masculine, the feminine, the conscious and the super conscious, that's that Libra energy. So as you're starting to set intentions and move forward, the intention setting will be really strong for Libra, but the like right now, like what do I need to do right now is going to feel more Virgo uh, for a lot of us. Okay. So this is... This is where we start. So everybody grab your candle. And let's go ahead and together we'll light our candle, just creating a sacred space together to really harmonize and energize ourselves into who we truly are and really claiming that we're going to be talking about letting go of those old stories. And so we're going to just set the intention that we're ready to let all of the old BS go and to really rise into who we truly are as fractals of the divine. Go ahead and grab your incense or sage or Palo Santo. Uh, if you don't have any, then you can use your finger as we do this. So lighting your can your incense or sage from the same candle as your intention. And then we just sweep it in a figure eight motion, bringing together the polarities into the singularity, creating a sacred container again for us outside of time and space to come into full healing and knowing. Dun, 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 dun. Sweet. I'm going to put this back over here. And this too. Perfect. Yep. Virgo energy, spring cleaning. So a lot of that spring cleaning energy is coming in. So I just got home from a really amazing epic weekend where I was in a plant ceremony with one of my dear friends and we were talking about all the things that you guys are going to be coming into knowing in the next few weeks or months as it integrates. But the biggest thing that I wanted to come today and talk about is this balance and how much we tend to weigh ourselves one way or another towards how we're supposed to be. And what we're supposed to do instead of just this knowing that our being is our doing. <laughs> so, so what do I mean by that? What I mean is that when we're here in this physical corporeal form, we need to really understand that as fractals of the divine, who are you? You are a fractal of the divine. What are you? You are the divine manifested in form, AKA you have a human body. Hey, you're here, you're human. 
So because we feel the gravity of being human, we tend to forget the divinity and we can get really, really, really weighed down. And even though we say that we're dealing with our traumas and we're doing the clearing and we're, we're turning into these alchemists, we tend to still hold on really tightly to the stories and we can't just like, okay, I'm a new, I, I'm new. Like I can be this whole new person. I don't, I can have my history, but my history no longer defines me. Those stories no longer define me. I don't need to always, every time I come together with my friends, talk about the same things and I can actually move past it. And if someone to, one to, was to bring up something from the past, I wouldn't feel that like, like annoyance or or the emotions not going to be locked into it anymore. So what we're going to do today with our ritual is really just like allow ourselves to let go of the Piscean age completely. So the age of Aquarius is in full effect now. Okay. It's in full effect as of the equinox, which was last week. This, there's just no reason. There's no reason to cling on to any version of you prior to you know, ever really, but prior to December of last year, prior to last week, <laughs> the, the old ways are just like, they're just so heavy. And as we're moving higher and higher in consciousness, we need to realize that what we're doing as super conscious leader, leaders is our being. This is who we're meant to be. Our micro changes in ourselves are actually resonating out into the field really, really, really high. Meaning, like I told you guys this before, I'll go to a restaurant and there's like no one really there, a few tables are set when I get there. And by the time I'm done ordering my food, there is a line of people ready to get their takeout. There's a bunch of people trying to come into the restaurant and it's this like magnetism, right? Like magnetizing these are people that they don't even know. They're never going to talk to me. I'm just sitting in the restaurant, having my coffee, having a conversation with my friend. But because I'm radiating this consciousness, anyone who comes into my vicinity on an unconscious level, subconscious level is being activated. They're being like, kind of like tickled. <laughs> they don't know why they needed to go there. They don't know why they're being drawn to this area. But my resonance field is so big and so powerful that it's affecting anyone who I come in contact with at the grocery store, at the, uh, at the restaurant, when I'm, you know, I stayed at an Airbnb, like that house is now shifted because I stayed at it. Like this is like the work that we talk about, the grid working and the energy work and how are we supposed to serve the planet? The way you serve the planet is by being you fearlessly, authentically you. And a lot of us are out of balance in that. We're either faking it till we make it. And so that's causing us to be off balance or we're just like stuck in our old stories, even though we're actually really fucking woke, we just won't let go. So one thing that my friend and I were doing was we were like giving everything to Jack from the, from Titanic. And we're just like, I'll never let go, Jack. I'll never let go, right? Meaning she has to actually physically let go of Jack for him to sink so that she can go be saved. But what she meant is within her heart. I'm never going to let go of these stories. And she goes and she lives her life and she rides the roller coasters and she rides on a, a horse with one leg on each side of the horse, right? She really is just going and living, still keeping his memory alive, but not the weight, the physical weight of him. That is what we get to do tonight is we're going to be honoring those past parts of us, but knowing that we're doing that, we're, we're going to hold the memory, but we're not going to hold the weight, the gravity around the memory. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. I say I am who I say that I am. Yes. Hi, as my home and I just talked about that. We magnify. Yeah, exactly. We're magnifying. We're conduits for energy. We're conduits for the super conscious. We're conduits for the ascension. And so many of us are like, well, what do I do? How do I do it? Where do I need to go? Who do I need to talk to? Do, 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 do. But the truth is, the truth really is, 
you be it. You be the lighthouse. You be the dragon. You be the ascended master here in corporeal form. You be the golden dragon teacher. And just by you being it, meaning just as you're already living your life right now, just what you're already doing is you being the super conscious leader. And that's all that you really have to do. Your only job is to shine as bright as possible, right? The lighthouse doesn't go like hopping around the island. <laughs> it's not like moving around looking for ships to save. The lighthouse just is there and shines so big and so bright and the ships are able to find it and are able to be brought safely into shore. That is our job, okay? Like that, that is it. Several of us, several of you will be going off and doing amazing, great things. You're going to create these epic businesses. You're going to have these amazing inventions, new healing modalities that you create. All of these things are going to come through, but you're not really going to be doing anything when those ideas come through. A lot of the times, you know, Nikola Tesla and Albert Einstein were both very famous for saying that they would sit there and just like try to do the math. They'd like, I, I got to do the math. I got to do the math. I got to do the math. And it wasn't until they like left and went on a walk or made a sandwich or whatever that the idea would actually like, oh, fuck. That's what it is. When they were just being themselves, doing regular things, that's when inspiration would strike. That's when the genius would hit. Not when they were sitting there trying to do it, right? There do or do not, there is no try. It's really be or be not. <laughs> to be or not to be, that is the question, whether it is knowable or in the mind, right? Like, to be or not to be, do or do not, there is no try. It's the same, it's actually saying the same thing, okay? So let's go ahead and get our pen and paper out. And we're just going to spend about five minutes writing down just like stream of consciousness writing, meaning there's no judgment. No one's going to see it. No one's going to know anything about it. Just start writing down all of the stories that you know that you're already saying that like you, it's the same thing. Like I was still hanging on to a lot of trauma from junior high, even though I had done a ton of work, my junior high to high school self just kept like popping up all weekend long. And I had to really like move through the feelings of it so that now when I literally got home, my husband who's known me since junior high started poking the bear. And I realized like, oh, this is the, these are the tests. This is like, are you actually clear out of clearing this? Or have you actually come into balance with knowing that who I was is what made me who I am. And now that I know who I really am, as a fractal of divine, I get to be that, just that. I just get to be a fractal of the divine. I just get to be divinity incarnated. I just get to be this amazing super conscious leader who does have these memories, but that history doesn't define me, right? So we will go ahead and just, like I said, just start stream of consciousness, just start streaming it. Uh, anything, any of your old stories, any of those things that are still getting like brought up, like, oh, my parents don't respect me or, oh, my husband just doesn't get it. Or this thing happened to me, or here's this thing that I've been healing for 17 years. Like just get it out and write it down. And we're going to do that for about five minutes. Okay. One of the great challenges Oops, sorry guys. is knowing enough about a subject to think you're right. Trying to pull up a YouTube music for you. <laughs> and there was an ad. Hello, gorgeous. So... We are just writing down any of the old stories, any of the old traumas, any of the old 
uh, what was I saying? Um, I'm really bad at organizing. I'm such a procrastinator. I'm, I don't know how to do my budget, right? Those things still, like things that you keep saying, I don't know how to. <laughs> Write those things down too. Just get it, just get it all out. Sometimes it can be tricky. Maybe you're like, oh, well, I used to have an eating disorder. But how often are you telling people that you used to have an eating disorder? You're still holding it. Or how many people have you still told about the sexual trauma that you experienced as a child, even though you've been going to therapy and coaching programs and done all the shadow work, but you still seem to tell that story quite a lot, even though you're sick of it. What is the story that you're just like sick of telling? What are the habits that you're sick of using as excuses? You can also write down all the reasons why you say that you can't. I can't ever create a million dollar business. I can't charge $100,000 to work with me. I can't move out of my parents' house. Okay, why? Start, start listing all the reasons why you think that you can't. Because if you keep saying that you can't, you've got to have some reasons why. Write those down too. What are the things that you say you're not good at? Oh, I'm no good at sports. Oh, I'm no good at cooking. Oh, I'm no good at organizing. I'm no good at paperwork. I'm no good at budgeting. We'll just do this for about another two to three minutes. Looking for a to free music? Check out Epidemic Sound. The song that we're listening to right now is called The Epic Hero by Keys of Moon. <laughs> so we're going to let this one play out. What's keep 
stopping you from your epic life, from living the legend, from being the myth? What is it? Get it out. Just start. Squiggle it out. Finish up. Awesome. Cool. Today we are excited oh to gosh. release this. Stop it. <laughs> oh, you did. Okay. So go ahead and take your paper. rip it out of its notebook and we're gonna let our inner child play for a second okay this virgin energy right virgo new moon virgin energy innocence the innocence of play children are just children they don't know how to be anything else but children so we're gonna let our inner child do this so sometimes we would do like a fire burning ceremony since we're dealing with earth and air right now um we're gonna we're gonna get into our inner child playing a little bit. So take your paper and just like uh, I want you to get into it. Okay, <laughs> either giggle or turn on that turn on. Okay, I want you to feel the satisfaction. Ah, uh, so good. Every rip, feeling how much lighter you're getting. Mmm, delicious. And then keep ripping it. Make a little pile of paper in front of you. Mmm. Every time you feel the rip or hear it, just ah. Uh. So good. I'm light. I'm free. Yes. Mm. I hope you're all making noises, giggling, whatever. That odd, the weird satisfaction of ripping paper. Ripping it away. Like a band-aid. And you're going to have this pile of paper in front of you, wherever you are. Are you ready? That's it. It's gone. The memories remain. Feel how much lighter you are. But the memories are still there. You don't erase memories. We let go of the baggage. We let go of the density around those stories. Okay. Coming into this balance, I just want us all to sit and just be for a moment. Feel into your body. 
Are there any places that feel stuck or tight? See if you can move yourself and adjust. Do you need to get taller? Do you need to roll your shoulders back? Do you need to move your neck or your wrists or your pelvis? How can you stand, sit, and just be? Be brave, be wise, be safe, be love. Mm. When Mother Mary conceived Jesus, who's we're going to be honoring next week with Easter. When she conceived Jesus, she used her own life force to create an entirely new life. And we do that through our businesses, through our children. Yeah, even if you had sex to get pregnant, like you are still embodying, like you are you are in there. But we're birthing our our businesses, we're birthing our healing modalities, we're birthing our technology, we're birthing our innovations and our inventions. That comes from us. Albert Einstein, Nikola Tesla, they do it. And then once your baby is born, if you have a physical human baby, many of us realize that we we still brought into our physical field the person that helped us to conceive it. So we still did it, right? You're always exuding this beautiful bright light, this beautiful harmonic resonance, and everything that's coming into your life is exactly what you need to be doing for the ascension. You do it by being it, by being the light in the storm. So I'm going to read a quote from Marianne Williamson. The quote that is actually my business's super conscious leaders, our motto here. Dun, dun, dun. Let me find it. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness or shadow, that we are most that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It is not just in some of us. It is in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. This is why I go into a restaurant and I know that everyone in that restaurant is somehow being affected. I will never know how. I don't know if someone walks into the next door next door and buys a dragon statue or picks up a tarot deck or starts reading Alan Watts or has an amazing conversation with their lover or finally gets out of whatever situation. But I know I know that I am radiating at such a high frequency that 
any being around me that comes into contact with that frequency is absolutely being shifted. My only job on this planet is to be Karin Terrace. That's it. It's the only job I have. And as an effect of having that job, of being me, I do all these things. I run a business, two businesses. I run my household. I am involved with my community. I have friends. I go to events. All of that doing that I do in my life is me being a super conscious leader because I am super conscious. Because I have conversations with aliens and dragons. Because I can see the grid and I can work with time and space and mold them both. You are super conscious. You wouldn't be in this group if you weren't. And it's time for you to own it. Be the light. Be the change you want to see in the world. And that change is choosing every single day to feel this light. Angels fly because they take themselves lightly. Devils fall because of their gravity. We are now in balance because we're human, so we're not flying away yet. I mean, if you've mastered levitation, let me know. I will literally pay you <laughs> to teach it to me. But we're here in human form. We're walking around, feet on the ground, but we can have that lightness. Living angels here on earth, living in heaven on earth. And having that vibration that is going to start tickling and prickling. And as more of us get into this solid stance. And the more of us spread our dragon wings. And more of us allow ourselves to shine brightly. We're not moving around the island trying to save boats. The boats are going to find us. And we're not even trying to save them. We're just saying, hey, watch out. There's a bunch of rocks down here. <sighs> yes, most favorite poem ever. Amazing. Yes, awesome. I'm going to have us all just take one moment. We're going to close out tonight with the 1111 prayer, which is a prayer that was channeled in Sedona, Arizona over this past 11-11. And this is gonna really just close it, like seal it, just like seal it with a kiss. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so go ahead, rub your hands together. Reach up and clap. Bringing that down through your chakra column. And then resting your hands either on your heart or in prayer pose at your heart. Goddess of the moon, we look to you. Father of the sky, shine down bright. Cousins in the stars, guide us in the night. Fill us with love, fill us with light. Golden rays of Christ shine bright. We are the shift. Let the world be light. Keys and codes enter our aura. Disconnecting, we are slaves no longer. Give us the throne we were born to sit on. Light the fire within our hearts. We are creator. We are God. Break the bonds and limitations. We are the wave. We are the vibration. 
break free from the illusion, the shackles of time. Let go of the bondage. Embrace the shine. The time is now. No need to know how. For us to find, we have arrived. We are the light in the night. We are the thunder and the lightning. We are the storm. We break the night. Satnam. Beautiful. Thank you all for joining me tonight. So beautiful. Thank you. I understand this was a later one, although we got some of our Aussie friends to jump on, which doesn't always happen, which is awesome. So this week, anything exciting going on this week? No, nothing super, super exciting. We're going to be doing our live stream on Thursday at noon mountain time. Next week has, we have a very special super conscious Sundays. I didn't do one this week because I was still traveling, but next week on Easter Sunday and then playing with dragons also launches next Sunday. It's an eight week course. I'm stoked. I'm so excited, especially now that I just got back from my trip. I'm going to be spending all week spring cleaning and writing the course out. It is delicious. It is learning really, truly how to be this living legend, how to be it, not how to embody it, but how to be it. <laughs> okay because you are it already. So I love you. Satnam. Aho. I love you. Have a beautiful night.